I am going to be painting the left-hand front brake caliper from a Golf. Um, obviously, I've got the new gold wheels to go on it when it's all finished. So I thought, you know, make it look that little bit better with new brakes and shiny calipers. So, gold paint, gold brake caliper paint. Uh, it's different, slightly different shade of gold, but I think it should work absolutely fine. Um, this I got on eBay. I'll put a link in the description box below. I have some grey primer, so we can prime the caliper and the carrier, try and make the paint last a little bit longer. Wire brush in my drill. Um, I might need a slightly bigger wire brush on it, but it should be good enough to get in all the little gaps. Get all the worst of the dust and crud off, 20 years worth. I have a flat blade screwdriver. Um, I'll show you how to get the caps off in the spring. And a seven mil Allen key for undoing the bolts. And just a little bar for if they're tight. I know they're not because as you can see, I've already undone them. So let's start stripping this down. These springs have a little gap, little raised section. You can get a flat blade screwdriver in and make sure the spring doesn't go ping. I'll give that a clean up with some brake cleaner before it goes back on. Try and make that look a bit shinier. And then these caps just push off like so. Now some of these, the later ones, have a little Volkswagen logo on them. These ones don't. Right, seven mil Allen key. Like I said, I've already loosened these off because I knew it was gonna be Knew they would be tight. There you go, there's that one. And there's that one. So again, I'll take them out. They're actually not in too bad nick, but I will probably grease them up before they go in. It's got some old grease on it. So, I should now be able to separate the carrier from the caliper. So, there's my carrier. One side, the old brake pads don't look too bad, but they have been in for a while, and I do have all new shiny brakes, so they can go in the bin. I won't be removing the rubber seal, um, there's nothing really wrong with it. Uh, we'll obviously give it a bit of a wide brush, and again, I'm not too bothered. The paint there is probably not going to affect it too much, it's mainly the outside, the main housing won't painting because you're not going to be able to see that anyway. Um, so, I'll take the little rubber off of the nipple, the bleed nipple, um, and then let's take a glove off to do this. What I'm going to do is uh, because the uh, because I don't want to get paint inside the caliper, inside where the hose bolts on, because uh, that could cause problems in the future. Uh, I'm going to take the bolt out, just a little banjo bolt. I'm going to wrap it in tape and then wind it back in again. Right, I should stop the worst of the paint getting in. So Let's start with the carrier, I think. It's gonna be our best bet. Put it in the vise and start wire brushing. So, that's that side. I've still got the back to do. Um, you can see the difference actually, the before and after. So this build up of dirt and stuff on there. There's still a lot of rust and stuff on there, but you know, once you've primed it, should be good. Ideally, if you had the time and money, um, an acid dip or a shop blast would probably be a better way to go. But for my purposes, this is absolutely fine. So I will put it in back in the vise to do this side. And then we'll get on with the caliper. Okay, as you can see, this is all wire brushed. I've also done the caliper as well. You can actually see an Audi logo and a Volkswagen logo there. Um, all sorts of part numbers and stuff. That's all good, happy with that, happy with this. Um, 
what we do after this, I've already done this one, so I'll just lay it down over there. But, if you can see, blow it, you get dust come off of it. So, just to get rid of all the loose dust, we're gonna give it a spray and brake cleaner all over. Inside as well. My hand is now frozen. Next thing to do, we're gonna start spraying. So, I'm gonna run a wire through here just to make it easier to hold or to hang on things. Do a little double loop. Get my glove stuck. There we go. I've already shaken the primer. I'll just go with a light coat. Try and make sure you get a, a little bit on every surface. There's a lot of them. I've got that angle there. Okay, and that I can now hang from my vise. There we go. Let that dry. And do the caliper. Okay, I used to have had I think about three coats, a couple of light coats, and uh, one thicker coat. And uh, they come all right, actually, come up all right. So, next step is the color. Um, I've already had this warming up in the office and uh, already given it a, a good shake. So I'm gonna get the bin out just so I don't get something to paint on. Move that around, see how it's moved, there we are. And again, light coat to start with. And then we'll go over with some thicker coats afterwards and I'll make sure I don't miss a bit. I'm not too bothered about getting paint on the rubber seal. Uh, it moves so much it'll just flake off and to be honest I might even might even sit there and peel it off when it's all done and dried. That's coat one. I'll probably do again, probably do another light one and then a thicker one, maybe a, a fourth thicker coat just to make sure it's got plenty of coverage and nice thick paint. And then we can go ahead reassembling it all. Um, while I'm waiting for that to dry and while I'm doing the other coats, I'm going to just Give the sliders a wipe, maybe get some scotch bright, and uh, just clean them up, ready for some new grease to go on there. And uh, the spring clip on the outside again, a bit of scotch bright should probably clean that up quite nicely. So here we have the finished articles. Um, it's taken a few days really, I've been leaving it to dry um, in between coats I've done two thin coats of gold and one thick coat to finish off and uh, really pleased with the results I think these are going to look really really nice on the car um, yeah all I've got left really then is to put it all back together I've polished up the clip which is kind of a sad thing to do really a little bit of scotch bright um, I just did some of the wire brush on the drill to start with because some of it was pretty bad and um, yeah, got some cutting compound on that. Uh, I've also cleaned up Scotch Bright the uh, slider pins that the caliper slides on. They'll also have some grease on them when I reassemble. So all I've got left to do is put the put the rubbers on, um, and then I've got new discs and pads to go on the car, and they then will look like this. Mm -hmm. 